Hello, uh, I, I, uh, I, I say a professor from Busan National University in South Korea. And uh, the city, as I know, sounds also interesting. Busan, right? <laughs> Busan State University and Busan City. Uh, and uh, colleague Professor Seya, uh, she, is, um, she works in the Department of Biology Education. Uh, and it's very nice because chemistry and biology, two main sciences, <laughs> and um, uh, College of Education, as we mentioned, university, and also uh, colleague Seo has uh, good experience because she studied also in the United States uh, at Illinois State University, if I know uh, this information, and also she, um, she worked uh, at science education, in particular at Science Education Center, uh, at the uh, University of Iowa for two years, uh, etc. And uh, currently she continues to collaborate and cooperate with many universities worldwide. And uh, I am happy to say that uh, colleague Hayaya uh, also is a good friend, a good colleague of mine. And, and uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to see next year in Shole in Lithuania again. <laughs> Uh, you are welcome. Uh, also, uh, with said. big team, with big team, and you are responsible for that. Please uh, <laughs> invite colleagues and visit uh, Shaolay again and Lithuania, of course. Uh, and uh, today, uh, today, uh, uh, I already mentioned that our module is related with education systems, innovations, and technologies, and uh, this is our like like a third part of this module. Uh, we are traveling online, virtually traveling uh, around the world and trying to cover some most interesting education systems uh, and uh, uh, to be familiar somehow in more details, uh, in more details with, with such systems and um, possible to, to perform at least a small comparative analysis in comparison with our system, with our problematics, etc. Uh, please, uh, hi, hi, now it's your time. And uh, let's say we have approximately approximately one hour maybe more maybe less it depends on you and uh, next maybe i don't know 10 15 minutes uh, discussion uh, discussion and questions some some questions some answers at least we have uh, two interesting questions at least right now at the moment that possible students will raise more questions okay uh password to share the screen no, this is no password, just you can start sharing. This is icon, uh, should be icon on the top, share with, with. Because this is permitted to, to share screen without restrictions. Oh, it's correct, it's correct, we see. Do you hear me? And yes. Uh, yes. Do you see the screen? Yes, correct. Wonderful. Uh, I'm so happy to be with you. I won't have uh, this opportunity with a student from Lithuania. Uh, if uh, I didn't know the, your professor, Pinsentas Lumana Kuskas, Right. It's difficult, don't worry. <laughs> right. So I kind of asked by your professor that introducing the education system in Korea, but then I found that you are interested in the technology, I means the inclusion of a kind of technology into school system. So I surveyed, investigated recent movement by the government. So I made a very simple PowerPoint and then I show you how I am doing under the government policy and agenda. All right. So uh, this is this is what we have in Korea. Uh, I don't go through very detail, but then later on I will do it with the other slide. But there is that the English 
MOE means Ministry of Education, Geo Government and KR. So I found that the Korean government they publish everything in in uh, internet in English. The English is not really professionally kind of you know native tongue uh, English sentences, but you still can see how it goes. Uh, what kind of uh, policy agenda, recent agenda going on in Korea. So I was quite surprised. I'm not going to show how the screen is, but then you stop by, visit this website, then you will see how it comes. All right. We have uh, age 3 to age 29. It's quite far. But the, you will see here elementary school from 6 to 12, 6 years elementary school. And we have a secondary secondary school is like a middle school, 3 years. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't make it very clear. We have a 6 years elementary, elementary school. Elementary school is a 6 years one. All right. And then we have a three years, three years middle school. So they are supposed to be here. Middle school and we have a three year high school. So we all together elementary, middle and high school for 12 years. After, after that, we have four years university regular and then you have more and more. You go up to the age 29. This is how we can show you the whole structure of the education system in Korea. All right. The hot, hot, hot issue, like you know, the big, big word in Korea recently is a digital age all the time. Digital literacy. I don't really, you know, familiar with the, the word, but then I found, I realized that what I am doing is very close to the digital age means the digital literacy education. So what they what they the new government uh, announced in August in August that they have a big plan. The government developed the roadmap, the digital talent cultivation, uh, with the uh, aim to produce million strong, highly skilled digital savvy uh, workers from twenty. 22 to 26. So I was surprised. So I will see what cultivation talent up to 26. You know, number, number, number. So the 130,000 people will be, will be the, you know, the top edge, shouldn't say top edge, but the quite top uh, talented people in digital area. All right. And then the expansion of elementary and secondary school information means ICT education, computer language, software, and artificial intelligence education will be twice number of the class hours. So surprised again, where the science education is going to be reduced or not, but then still it's a new kind of a way they are doing it, all right? And then the establishment of the foundation means the securing, means the nurturing teacher professionalism uh, to, I mean, the, to able to teach digital related education. So I'm going to show another photo here. We have a Brain Korea 21 long time ago. So now it's uh, every five hours five years. So it's about, you know, 15 years of study, the big money, where it, money goes to the university, where the money going to uh, spend. It's not professor or whole for student. So student able to go abroad, student able to study without spending any money. So it's a, a it's a hard, you know, I have a money, but then uh, I need to have a plan to how to spend for the university student and the graduate student. So these are how it goes. So they say 
AI graduate school, we have a 15, but now next year, four increased 19, and then leading metaverse ecosystem. Now we have only two, but the later on 10 ecosystem, new security threat, cyber agent. We have eight, but then now the 12 is going to be the goal to accomplish later on in 2026. And then AI semiconductor developing is three, not very familiar, but then big data analysis to uh, talent uh, major at, at the university as well as a graduate school. So not very clear information, but I assume that the day the government plan to support a lot. It's a big kind of a, another a turning point move on all right uh, then how do they do for high school because i am very much interested in you know uh, doing the research on the gifted education so they say training the gifted education so operating spe specialized software and artificial intelligence curriculum for gifted school and science high school how many we have how many uh, science high school we have we have an eight eight gifted school is a top student coming and then we have a 20 science high school so uh, this year already pilot uh, AI integrated school curriculum supported by government so then it's going to be you know dispersed means uh, you know introduced after after piloting kind of implementation and then the spread other kind of uh, in other school to do the same thing all right so say another thing is expand the operation of a gifted school gifted class is uh, one or two class in general high school and general middle school so they say this is ai specialized class who is going to be the students say i want to be then I have, you know, one grade level, like a middle school, uh, seventh grade, and we have uh, maybe 150 students, and the 30 students want to be, then they have extra curriculum and study. But these are the, what they say. High school, my school is totally tailored to the industry demand in digital sector, also expanded. Currently, six schools but later on one or two uh, per reason we have a 17 reason <laughs> so i don't know how many will increase but then they say we have a six and then they will at the least they will make a 10 more 10 more specialized and uh, so i was very surprised <laughs> didn't see this one but the, due to the uh, professor you know present us uh you know, oh, I, I owe you, you know, to review <laughs> these kind of things. So another thing is I also uh, uh, surprised university innovative course. They say boot camp, boot camp, boot camp. Say it's a convergence course. I shouldn't say convergence, but then I would say the integrate, you know, the any any their major area plus what AI or digital. So in order to support improve on the convergence convergence capability of various major such as the humanity, social science, and digital technology, university and private business industry partnership intensive linkage curriculum boot camp is introduced so next year. So support the university innova innovation. So university, we are kind of, you know, very threatened by the reduced number of students. So Korea problem is that the very drastically, you know, the population decreasing. So that's a one problem. So say when they come to my department, then they say, oh, you want to be the biology teacher? Or do you want to do anything AI related to biology education? And they 
customized and then go to and then deploy after graduation. So I don't know how it's going to be, but the, I kind of, you know, very good, very good. All right. So major policy for expanding base of digital education. This means that the, when university students already start boot camp, but the later on, I mean, the, those who are not at the university level, you know, still elementary and middle and high school, elementary and middle high school, present time, we have a software course, you know, coding and, you know, what, you know, Arduino and all these things, they are having 17 hours one hour per semester, all right? But then middle school is a two hour per semester or 17 hour semester two times, so 34. It's a present they are doing it now, but then they say it's a doubled. So it's going to be doubled. Power is going to be doubled. In high school, we developed more. I know we have a 2020, you know, revised curriculum. And we, uh, uh, science uh, curriculum, we have to make an elective course, science plus AI. So I was very surprised and I was a headache. I was part of a, part of a curriculum, not major one, but you know, it's an advisory committee and didn't like it, but then it goes. <laughs> so software AI integrate cur curriculum is already already developed maybe you know the just the structure or content not detail the big big topic but the already developed detail supposed to be next year or you know, later on so 20 25 you know four years of digital education focused at software and ai camp during vacation and after school activity these are already started. So, <laughs> winter vacation. Which school has a, what kind of, you know, after school activity uh, supported by the government? Government send the big money. Everybody say, I am doing the AI teaching at, you know, school after curriculum. So, so they are not really uh, developed, but then they know how to handle all kind of, you know, smartphone many different things as well as arduino as well as meta metaverse argumentation augmented you know reality or virtual reality anyone they know something and then they say oh i can teach all right what's your ability okay you can be and the after school teacher can be recruited many different sectors so <laughs> For me, wow, but it, it goes. So, uh, AI software elective course expanded, and then teacher, they say such a things like this. Uh, I am not part of it, <laughs> but I I am following my, my practicing teacher who is my doctoral student. So I learned a lot from him. So I can introduce now what I am doing with my pre-service biology teacher. So it's based on Arduino. So these are the, what I developed with the students is, uh, you know, sensor, sensor is going to be, sensor is going to be, uh, what, like, uh, what, uh, uh, let's see, you know, uh, humanity sensor and CO2 sensor and temperature sensor. It's not expensive. So we developed and we measure. And she didn't uh, make coding. And, uh, sorry, Zaya, what is purpose for this? What, huh? is purpose? what is purpose for this device? This one you can use. You can put this in the chamber, chamber, any chamber. And then you, 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 you know, uh, track, track the CO2 evaporation by the plant, or if you hold it and then you run and then you touch, 
you know, the cardiac sensor, even I, I don't have here, but it's also cheaper. So you can see everything on monitor, computer monitor. So this is what I have done with my student last semester. Student learn one kind of a three hours workshop. They learn everything. I learned from my doctoral student. He developed. He is a physics teacher. Well, the, he, I am also at the gifted education part. So I am going to show what kind of things these are. All right. Uh, would you please excuse, these are the in Korean, but uh, you will see what kind of things it was. So these are the what we introduced to the student, I mean not student, for the in-service teacher training program, summertime. I organized, I organized the uh, in-service teacher training program, all right, uh, and, uh, I mean commissioned by the uh, Metropolitan City Office of Education, all right. So, it's it, it, it's it is like this sensor with uh, chemistry sensor with the <laughs> uh, these are he he is a chemistry teacher so he showed you know how how what he did with his student LED and prototype uh, I think this is what they have as a you know the base and acid and then you make uh, you know neutralization and the, all the you know changes will be on the screen and they have uh, uh, accurately all the data is going to be in in computer database all right so how they make it and uh, how the material sense sense maybe this is uh, the sensor of the light and how the material uh reacts i well <laughs> it's a liquid in the beaker and then the light goes on and the what what's going on in the beaker the liquid and the, all the data is goes to the computer and these two teachers, Arduino, you know, kit, experimentation kits, these are the, my doctoral students. They had the, the top, top award. Okay. All right. So such a things, it, 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 these two are very creative. These are the what they developed for the student lab laboratory experiment and uh, they have a box in the box and then they in 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 incubate the you know petri dish and changing and then they develop develop a sensor you know what kind of changing area develop different than they their picture or many things they can do it changing evaporation of the air as well as other things how the inoculation you know grow then they they make all these things data right okay so these are the cardiac action sensor so you put in then they are you know uh, attaching all these things and then from your screen you can see the cardiac graph of your heartbeat, so student can still know how how the cardiac sensor at the I maybe electric electric something uh, who and uh, when you go to the hospital and then they use it the same principle. Showing it from this, we did. 
so already many many places already you know make a, uh, <laughs> items to set so you can buy from the computer I mean the internet so these are what I do and then I may show you how this is a I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry to show all these in Korean but this is what I did with my undergraduate student what is Arduino and that they everybody has this and then how they make uh, you know a lid you know light red and blue how they make uh, you know red green and light Arduino both where they connect and then how they do on the programming and they you know uh, type different things and how the light I don't have light here but the light you know how long how long it comes and on and off well and so light the red one one time and blue second time five five seconds and red one second they can make it it's a, it's not very difficult i think they just follow the all these kind of uh, programming example and then they change you know 9 10 11 and how long 25 250 or 100 or zero such things then they they make uh, their own way how to show as output and sensor and uh, programming and <laughs> yeah. what I say is this one is their output and they can develop the course so I what I say is that these are the what they finished <laughs> it is the CO2 and humidity, all those sensors, uh, the data comes to here and it goes to the computer. So this is what what I am doing you know, along to the government policy under the under the big title digital literacy. And these are you know uh, what I try to do is to uh, educate my pre-service biology teacher you know know these things and then their own way using creativity you know in creative way you know doing different experiment activity with their students okay uh, <laughs> maybe maybe it's a very 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 <laughs> It's not yet, but these are also, you know, three, three D printer, and one colleague made it, and then there is a, a spectrometer, spectrometer, very very expensive, but then they didn't very cheaper. It's a camera, light, UV, tone, and maybe maybe you know. I will show you very briefly. Uh, it's very, very, very creative. So not yet, but uh, I show you how they do. It's a principle. It's a UV visa spectrometer only. I mean the principle. And the, who made it? Teachers. And that this is going to be used by the student majorly. What they did? Microplastic contamination. Uh, they make, uh, you know, You 
you do the you don't you don't see very clearly but the, these are the cubic cubic you put it in the sample and then you you put it in the middle of the, this item this item and then there is a different kind of a structure inside and then you you put sample sample in the middle and then we have a we have a camera and light red light and then this is the same principle with the spectrometer spectrometer million you know thousand us dollar if you want to have a very accurate one this one is not that accurate but the still student, student can use it student can uh, use a uh, hair and then this one melting in certain solution and then see the normal person and then different drug used you can find <laughs> So I, I was very amazed that it, this one is delivered today, just today. And I, I don't know how we can use it, but uh, we can use extra uh, uh, what, what can be. Student, student can develop many, 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 many ideas with the simple things, top, top etching, you know, very. This is this is the camera inside. So the light can be this one. How much? Three, three, uh, thirty dollar. And uh, the designer is a mechanical engineering doctoral student, maybe. And turn and turn off. So, so what I'm saying, the technology in science education or in school, what do we, what do we going to, what, what do you want to teach them? My, my interest is creative way to do the experiment. And then when we do not have uh, money to purchase too expensive, uh, experimental equipment, the very creative student can develop many different things. Arduino with a different sensor. When when we had a, a MBL kit, that was very expensive. Now this is a, <laughs> we spend a very small money, but then we do much more than uh, MBL. MBL, you know, micro, micro MB, the uh, micro, ba micro computer based laboratory. We spend a lot of money. We have five sets, but then in a couple of years, they don't work. It's a Texas inter instrument, Bernier. We, we bought many sets and then now it's uh, gone. But this one, we we can use we can make it easily so digital technology i don't know what you are planning to do or what's your country lithuania agenda but my country not everybody but with my student my doctoral student did such a things and i do with uh gifted student so they, I didn't do this one. This one is done by, done by. Done by, uh, probably, I do not have probably then, well. Uh, we have a gifted student presentation. So these are the, what, the middle school students. with a chemistry major, natural scientist, chemist thought. And that idea comes from here. And then we come up like this. The, the chemist 
idea is uh, up to this time. And then this, this project is uh, supported by Korean, Korean Co-Park, Korean Co-Park, Korean Foundation of uh, Science and Creativity. We have a uh, uh, specialized uh, supporting science uh, education uh, under the Ministry and Ministry of Not Education, Ministry of Science and Technology and ICT. So that they support different things, money for the extracurricular activity for gifted one. So the, this professor did with the, you know, spectrometer production. And then the, my doctoral student get the idea and then they made it. Simple one. And then uh, program computer will this, I mean, the showing such a things. And they say, uh, uh, at this moment, at this moment, I can have a QA. Uh, I didn't show you how the science education or how science gifted education in Korea. Uh, I'm not going to show the science gifted edu uh, science education detail, but I will discuss with the science gifted education what we are doing, why we are doing. Uh, but then before, uh, what we are doing in Korea at the moment under the new government is a digital age, preparing for digital age. How many, how many talented, specialized uh, in digital area field, the professional knowledge area related to AI or software, they have a new agenda and they are pushing up. And then I uh, introduce that part. I don't really know in detail, but kind of give you the picture, kind of a frame what we are doing for, uh, for uh, developing, I mean, preparing the future digital, I think, dominated age, uh, uh, science and technology developing kind of, uh, in a time we are going to uh, encounter soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> No, no, I mean, uh, it's too vague or any, any kind of things you want to know more? Oh, maybe after your presentation, uh, we will raise some questions and then for some discussion. Hmm. Another presentation? No, no, uh, uh, not another presentation. If you finish your presentation, we can start uh, for discussion. Okay. Mm. Shall we? Then I will. I will stop the okay. uh, screen share. Uh, okay. Hi. I, it's. Uh, it was really very nice, and uh, at least some some uh, some trends, some directions of your education system uh, in general and in particular in some schools. And uh, just uh, uh, in the morning, we shortly discussed about teacher education system, about some models uh, <clears throat> based on some presentation in Taiwan in 2019 at the end of 2019. And uh, uh, but uh, you mentioned, uh, for example. Uh, uh, so interesting expression, top students. Uh, what do you mean by top students? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that uh, always uh, uh, I have a kind of a, you know question. I I myself also questioning uh, the top students. We have a screening system and. Uh, they are like a high achiever, high achiever, and they like accelerated kind of, uh, you know, the content uh, according to the curriculum developed by the government, but they know everything. Means the parents or student themselves is highly motivated and study themselves. 
and come to school. And they're sitting in the classroom. And then teacher saying such a things. And then they say, I know everything. Then, okay, then we select you and the, to put the special class and we'll teach you more enriched or the advanced or the kind of a more specialized professional knowledge. Who is teaching? We do, the professors. Uh, or, you mean from university professors? Yes. They come, they come weekend. The presentation done, I show you, was the weekend. They come to school every two weekends, they spend maybe 20 hours with the professor and they experience. Okay, but, uh, and um, uh, as far as I know, for example, uh, this system related to talented and gifted students, it's starting from early ages, right? For example, kindergarten. We start, we start five, fifth, fifth elementary, but not the elementary fifth, fifth grade, end of fifth grade. And then they come here, my university, when they are the sixth grade, the last grade of the elementary school. And then they spend one year. And then they are doing good job. Then they have a kind of a mentoring program and laboratory. Um, okay, uh, uh, as I mentioned in the morning, we discussed about teacher education in, in South Korea and uh, uh, at least uh, based on this information, uh, teacher profession is the most prestigious in South Korea. Is it correct information? Uh, I, I would say yes. And uh, why? Because I don't know Lithuania, but Korea, the teacher, you know, would you like to be the teacher in your country? Yes. Yes. My country, many students want to be teacher. They are top edging. Good student coming to my department, working hard. Then are they going to be all after graduation, they are going to be teacher? No, we have 20. But then how many will be teacher at the year of the graduation? Five, six. My university is a top university. Too many students want to be teacher. The competition is too high. So they study one year more and then they get. So I have a 20 student graduation First year, maybe five, six. Next year, five, six. So out of 20, how many students within a two year after graduation? Maybe 14. The rest of what are they doing? They are having earning money at the private company, private academy. They have a good money because Korean parents, every single parents want to send their student to after school academy, private academy. So and, private academy mm -hmm. is a big industry. And uh, uh, how this, uh, let's say, private academy operates, for example, after school, what is time frame, for example, how long it takes? All right. Uh, uh, after school, uh, in, 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 in school, like, uh, you know, 724, 724. School, <laughs> no, 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 no. The public school, then they have maybe, you know, one hour, two hour. But then after school, after, after school, after going home, and then parents say, you go to the private comp a private tutoring. But so it's, maybe it's, they so don't. High, it's so high pressure. It's so high workload. So it's a pro and con. It's a not very, you know, stable for the student, you know, psychologically. And too much pressure. Some students, they, you know, doing well with the pressure. They are like amazing. <laughs> I, I have uh, doing the research, you know, interviewing with the high school student, those are the gifted science academy. 
I'm interviewing now it's three three times. You know, I will I meet four times one student. I forty student, top edging student. They are amazing. Some student I I uh, some student maybe in a burnout and then say no more. <laughs> But the some student really working hard. Um, and in relation to that, uh, I, I, it's, it would be nice because uh, uh, you, my student Eva raised this question because uh, this specialization of a master program related to child's rights. Um, uh, do you have uh, or can you shortly describe the situation uh, with ch in relation with child rights? Uh, for example, at school level, at national level, do you have, for example, some organizations responsible for that? Uh, how to assure child rights? I make a make a very you know uh, you know uh, simple way, couple keywords. Then I will make a, a child uh, rights. A child rights. I, I will try to to, to write no, in no, the no, chat. No, no, no. Child life. Child life is no more. Rights. <laughs> rights. Huh? Child rights. Child right, yes. I don't know how further we can expand, you know, interpret interpreting the child right. Then the the students say I want to study, or we don't say like a, what time they go to bed, what time they go to school, or what do you mean by you know child rights? means the are we violating or what do you concern about you know doing the child right i make a you know assurance in south korea yeah we do child right uh, for example uh, 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 hi please uh, please you can uh, check in chat window uh, some questions um, our students raised some questions <clears throat> Do you see com some comments? Uh, first of all, I think it's a uh, Ginta. Ginta? Right. Yes, yes, Ginta. Uh, your country is an uh, innovative country, I think. Uh, <laughs> Lithuania too. Uh, how many, my question, how many uh, students um, choose to learn chemistry? Chemistry. Chemistry, yes, chemistry. Uh, at high school, at high school. Yes, yes. We have a choice. Student, student have a choice to select biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. Biology, they like because they want to go to medical school their own decision, their hope, or the parents' dream. <laughs> yeah? So the biology is a kind of popular as well as chemistry. So more than, more than, more students choose chemistry, biology, than physics. So we have a less number of students choosing physics. Uh, okay, and uh, possible students will raise some more questions, but uh, currently, uh, at the moment, my, my question, uh, uh, for example, we have some, uh, it's also in relation uh, somehow uh, with child rights, uh, we can observe uh, so-called educa education inequality, inequality. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, in the middle, uh, I'm keep, you know, pay attention to child right assurance in South Korea. Uh, is uh, maybe, maybe I make a two extreme part I explain to you. Students, students are having food, they enjoy their own hobby, they play game and they go to, you know, movie, everything. But then I talked about the students who really, you know, focus on devote themselves study and also the parents really want them study more then they push them to go uh, private academy after finishing all the schools so 
they say don't have money and students are not really motivated, they don't go. So don't say that they don't make a you know, misunderstanding kind of uh, uh, about what I said. All right, I could, okay. And uh, okay, in continuation with uh, my uh, question, uh, we know that uh, uh, education inequality exists worldwide in, in every country. It's not That's only right. uh, uh, it's not an exception. Also, Lithuania, for example, but uh, obviously in a different extent. But for example, South Korea, as far as I know, uh, let's say receiving a lot of critics or criticized based on that, on education inequality. And uh, in addition to what I mentioned before, uh, with so high workload, so high and strong pressure for students, and it's mainly connected with so-called standardized test testing system. Uh, can you shortly explain on that? Because this is becoming like a trend, continuous trend in, in, in South Korea. Yes, continuous trend. But uh, that's, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, through, through long history. When I was, when I entered the university in 1980, 1980s, I also studied hard and take exam. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Something is coming, so. Uh, the university, we, we, university has uh, admission, admission requirement. The student want to go to the top university, they make uh, many different kind of uh, uh, how can I say, experience beside their GPA. And uh, some students want, I uh, don't know, no, no, you have a university entrance examination is a big one. But then without, without university entrance examination, uh, you may, you may pass the screening test. So we have a kind of a different uh, structure, mixture, mixture of the admission policy. You already have a high score in university entrance examination. You can come. You do not have a high score of the entrance examination, then you do have a different experience. And then with that kind of your uh you are kind of uh, accumulate kind of a uh, you know the document showing you i am good then we screen and then we bring so not every student now is like i need to have a high score and university exam not that not all not all not uh, every student okay okay emily i i think wants to ask Yes, I want to ask uh, what problem does your education system face and what would you like to change? <laughs> well, everything. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I don't think uh, everything. Uh, I am, I am quite sure that the, we are doing, uh, I mean, the success kind of outcome we are having. But then the, some student maybe not not adjusted so what kind of a problem do we have at this moment like uh, we specialize the high school keep to the school but then the rest of school are they are they happy or not happy or do they really you know uh, have a professional job yes they do they do but then if their education is not bring up the quality education output, then how are we going to do? Means that the uh, special science high school, we say, okay, but then we need to improve there also. General school, are they doing good job? No, we need to make it better. What? 
some students they don't really follow. They are really behind. What shall we do? That we have an extra program, motivate them. Uh, I mean, the, you know, increase their score high. So you cannot say like, what's the problem exactly, and then what we need to, uh, I mean, the change immediately. Uh, it's uh, all the time coming, you know, chronically. But then the always preparing the new change, like uh, in a future society, what we need. That's why I show you the digital age and how the school changing and the curriculum, what kind of uh, experimental equipment is coming. So I'm showing you. But then the Emily is kind of asking what's the problem in equality? Yes. Then what are we doing? Due to the your parents who do not have enough money, you are not you know, able to go to the extracurricular activity using a lot of money. Then we we have a different program without money. Still want to come and study more, accelerated the kind of part of the study he want or she want. Then we have a without money they can come. So different kind of a section we spend the money and you know helping them out but then some students say i'm not very rich and i don't want to come then how shall we help them and we have a low social economic class how we help them and they say i don't want to show myself as a, you know come from the family low social economic class then we labor different way and then motivate and many different in you know, a subtle way or in you know, a big picture different way to support it if you say inequality i'm i don't know everything but i experience and i witness what the policy and the kind of policy implemented in front of you know near my you know <laughs> place i see is i explain right uh, yes but uh, hi, I, uh... Okay, uh, despite that, uh, I am pretty sure that South Korea is a rich country. But anyway, uh, parents are forced to spend a huge amount of money in order to, to let's say, to get educated, well-educated children. children. And, uh, but what about... Uh, obviously, this is not uh, 100%. Uh, possible some some parts of uh, some some parents are not able to pay for example as okay you mentioned that uh, this is uh, you have some schools or some after school activities uh, free of charge but but yes okay can you comment on this that parents need to spend a lot of money to educate parents kids. Parents spend a lot of money. Parents do not have enough money. We have a scholarship. My student, university student, you say I, my parents do not have a, you know, how much, you know, annually their money earning. Then they say I am this amount of money and it's not, you know, regular. Then university evaluate and give them the money, scholarship. So almost every student earning this scholarship, small or bigger, and not the university itself, but also the other kind of industry giving them money. So I realized that it, none, none do not have any scholarship. No, everybody at my department. It's very similar. It, it started quite maybe 10, 20 years. So university, if you come, maybe, Maybe you know, small money. If you go to the private, like a Yonsei, Ifa, they have a big money. National University, scholarship opportunities everywhere. So inequality going to university at the beginning, the parents, where they are sending, how good they are. Okay, uh, more questions, uh, at least on question related to special educational needs, because, uh, uh, okay, we shortly discussed about gifted uh, education, uh, uh, gifted education of gifted students, 
but uh, what about special education needs? Okay, giftedness also Where? is a special need, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Is that we have a mentally and the physically disabled and separate, separate school. Uh, only the thing you see in Korea, general, general school, we do not include. Uh, it means you uh, inclusive education. It's not, not, not common. In... Right. So, but then if you parents decide because he or she has leg, the leg, one leg physically, you know, muted, and then they are coming to the school, it's okay. Mentally okay, and then physically handicapped, no problem. No problem. Maybe student bullying, but they, they, they some student very close to, so it's a, it's a general. But then mentally disabled, we have a separate school. And government has a lot of money. We have a special law supporting. Mm -hmm. So the special education needs long time. Gifted education was the part of the special education needs, but now it's separate and it goes big because every parent wants their children to be gifted. So that's the problem, <laughs> but generally, but not every, but they want to have a better education opportunity. But the special education need, you may uh, uh, see different way. I'm not there, that special, I'm not in that field. But oh. I know, yeah, you know, they have a very, very well established. And, uh, uh, okay, it's uh, my possible last question, but so important for me. For example, we, we discussed, as I mentioned in the morning, about teacher education model. And uh, after, after, let's say, who, uh, after generally after finishing, uh, teachers receiving a certificate or license, right? But uh, in order to, to get a job, to get a position at the school, they need to, uh, to pass recruitment examination. What it include, for example, can you shortly describe it? Uh, recruitment examination. The teacher certification uh, you you earn at the end of the graduation, four year from my university, but then the employment is different. We have an examination. You have a good score, then government have a two different set. One set is education in general and how good you are understanding the your major biology life science and then we i also like uh, we want them to have a good ability teaching so how you know good you teaching biology so pedagogical content so three area they are taking exam i think uh, uh, one day one day they already did it's a national system examination system and they make, and then, and then later on, that's the first, uh, you know, step. So they pass the written exam, and then we we notice we we announce that the 150 uh, percent. We 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 select 10, then we you know we pass 15, and then they come and they do the teaching practicum for 20 minutes and then very specialized interview about the school management managerial issue. They take an exam and then they pass. So two step. Mm -hmm. Quite strong, right? Very strong. Students work very hard. So we already studied how to, you know, uh, they make them practice the teaching practicum. They work very hard. It's uh, uh, soon the first, uh, the first step. Who is passed and who is not passed, and then we have a, you know, very concentrate, intensive kind of a, a course uh, by department to support them, and then they gather together and practice it. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's really interesting, but uh, in the context, uh, every time we, we can have the, this expression like hard work, and to work hard, <laughs> to work hard, better, etc., etc. What about life? Because our life should be, should be easy, should be fun. Uh, education finally should be, learning should be fun and easy. Uh, maybe, maybe you know, many. May, I, I am very surprised. That many, many, many people, international people, come to Korea. Maybe to, uh, those who want to make money, uh, you know, the uh, East Asia, South Asia, uh, you know, the developing country, uh, I am not talking about those people, but the European people or American people, they come and teach the English or the different company, you know, selected and they're coming and living. They like uh, Korea. Uh, what kind of life are, are we having? Uh, you may come and experience. And you say like, uh, what I'm saying is maybe the one part, and you will see the different part, how the Korean student enjoy. What I'm saying here is maybe the one part, and what my impression about my student, uh, they are not working hard. They don't work hard. You know, the, my generation is really hungry mind and working hard every single moment, you know, pushing myself, working hard. Maybe the 10, 20 years later, they have a different idea and they are saying the well-being. I need the time to took off, take off. Why not I'm working here, you know, after six. It's getting, getting difficult. So, the, you know, we do very fast administration. <laughs> process things were going very fast but fast but now I'm very unhappy so don't don't make a too much kind of you know different generalization is too soon you know my my idea my is maybe the uh, long time ago standardization but nowadays my students they don't follow me and I am sometimes my doctoral student don't work hard, but those two students, they are quite old ones. They working hard, but the younger student, they don't work hard. And they like uh, dancing. Dancing is more important, and they want to have a, <laughs> a meal. I don't spend a lot of money on myself meal, but they have a higher price meal they want to eat their choice not my choice right so they always they want to have a better clothes they they earn money and then they spend money and that's their own way it's very similar i think it's globalized the the you know information system they connect everywhere anywhere and they see everybody not korean everybody and they are very similar uh, in terms of you know clothing and eating and many things i think you own traditional food but then they are they are kind of i am eating this for me oh, you don't have any money then why you spend the money on that but they say that's normal i save money but they are spending money so okay. I, you don't don't make a too much generalization or documentation. It's too too soon, I guess. Maybe you read one and say something. No, you maybe read in a ten or fifty. Then you say uh, here and there and different and many different, you know, sections. A different interpre interpretation can become mm -hmm. uh and similar. Similar to your country people too. Lithuania people similar to Korean people. Yeah, we need to work hard, much more hard. It's, it's... Well, not everybody. I don't <laughs> mind my students not working hard. My students too. <laughs> oh, sorry. oh my gosh. I, I see that your students working hard. Yeah. Okay, let's believe. Let's believe in that. 
Uh, and uh, uh, I see no more questions, but I have, uh, sorry, I have a lot of questions, but uh, but really final one. Uh, not 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 as a question, maybe some reflection, uh, because uh, you mentioned um, uh, quite often that uh, South Korea is going mm-hmm. to to increase everything, uh, to duplicate everything, for example, uh, increase some some hours uh, some hours for activities twice, right? In some cases, and some some different uh, other examples. But uh, I would say we know that our time time is limited. We have 24 hours, and that's all. Seven uh, 24, and this is a little bit extensive way extensive faith of educational development, educational development. Uh, do we agree with this or not? That is extensive day. You you are going to somehow to to change to make changes extensively, not 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 in other way. Because time is limited. It's if you're duplicating, for example, some hours for activities, how to manage with time? Well, reduce other other costs. Oh. So that's going to be a big big problem. So I'm saying I don't like it. You know <laughs> why? That's uh, that's you know on your way, and uh, you shouldn't. Science is more important. So we we fighting. If this is a government, but the, we know. But the, I I understood how the technology can be. You know. Uh, influence on my school activity. So that's why I started. But the teaching, coding, programming, is that, is that important or not? But then I see importance. Okay. Uh, uh, students, if you have some questions or, if, uh, or some, some comments, for example, final comments, please, now it's the uh, right time to do that. And uh, if not, we will finish. Nobody, possible nobody is, wants to say. Uh, okay, Eva wants to because the hand is. Gerbiamas profesorio noriau, kad jūs paklaustumėt, ar ne, ar yra tarp studentų, penkiasdešimt mečių studentų, bet būtent ne tai, kad atskirai kažkokia tai yra, ta prasme, kažkoks universitetas vyresnio amžiaus žmonėm, bet būtent tarp tų jaunų, gražių studentų, ar yra? Uh, 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 one, one more question from student. I will try to translate the, uh, translate the meaning. Uh, do you have some students uh, in, in, in so-called regular groups, for example, doesn't matter, bachelor level or master level, for example, in, in all the students, I mean 50 plus? Didn't get it? Uh, one more time. Do you have do you have uh, in at university students who are older, for example, not like regular age, uh, 50 plus? <laughs> Is it common in South Korea? No. Why? Well, okay, undergraduate, we do not see. We have a 18. I mean, 19 to 20 to 23 is the normal. Right after 12 years. Okay, it's like regular, regular students be coming after sec after secondary level. We have an older one. They finish it one time, four years, and then they again the second choice, one to undergraduate again with another major. So 25, 24 is coming as a freshman. Those are the old one. But then somebody is like a 50. I don't see them at all undergraduate all right but then the master degree and doctoral degree how old are they is very you know varied the range the range is like uh, maybe 50 they want to come and study 40 they want to come and study master degree and doctoral degree nowadays decreasing they don't like to study because life is short, let's enjoy life. Well, <laughs> because they don't see important. My 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 university, my graduate school, most of the students are the teacher. 
practicing teacher, in-service teacher coming to study as a you know doctorate degree or a master degree. They are as an in-service teacher, I mean the practicing teacher and want to study more. So they come at night. We have a very decreasing number. Thank you they very don't much. Uh, I think uh, that's all. Uh, it really was good time with you, and uh, uh, really, I'm happy that you found uh, found the right time and correct time, and uh, it was dedicated to us, to my students. And uh, thank you very much again. And uh, I wish you big success, big success in your personal life, academic life, and in everything. And uh, I hope to see you in Shaolay, as I mentioned, next year during our Baltic Sea Symposium. And uh, again, to possibly we'll spend good time uh, together, uh, discussions, etc., etc. Uh, uh, I, I, I thank you very much, you know, uh, your student interest in Korea, Korea education system. And the last uh, uh, saying I want to share with you is, uh, I am the one, the many, many, out of the many, many, and I have my own opinion and uh, theoretical background in education field. So this is my idea and my way of doing it. And then I show you not everything, even myself is one side. So don't please make a too, you know, biased or prejudiced way understanding the Korean education. Uh, there is a good point and as well as a bad point. And there are many things improving, but the, some part maybe we doing okay. Some part we say we are doing okay, but not doing okay. Some part we don't know we are doing okay, but then outside they say you are doing okay. All right. So we do not know. So I maybe I wonder your country, how you are doing. I like your country uh, very much due to the Vincent, Professor Vincent Tass, uh, uh, I was uh, very uh, happy when I was your country. So you try to find a good one, then you try to find a bad one from Korea, and then you change. Uh, and then a you know, good part you implement in, in your country. <laughs> yes, everything everything has pros and cons. and, and uh, uh, but the main question or the backbone remains open how to find an appropriate balance, how to find the right mm -hmm. right way, uh, and how to combine pros and cons. Right. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Rayaya. Uh, you have a good day, good evening, good possible good dinner, <laughs> because you are approaching to dinner, I think. <laughs> we, we are approaching to the lunch time. <laughs> After uh, all right, I'm, okay. I'm holding you too long. Having you know good lunch. Yes. Bye and bye. Bye bye. Keep well. Year. Keep well and safe. Good luck right. for South Korea. Bye bye.